What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and we got ourselves a banger of a team today. We got ourselves a Cantonian Zapdos team alongside with a speed boost Life Orb Blaziken. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But on this team, like I said, we got ourselves speed boost and Life Orb Blaziken over here. Heart and Soul of the team, Sink can hit like a truck, and his speed is phenomenal, especially you can protect the turn and get that plus one speed boost and roll from there. Sink also has Flare Blitz, Close Combat, and Thunder Punch, all as its attacking physical moves. Right next to it, we got Cantonian Zapdos with static ability, so when physical attacks come after us, we get the Paralyzed, pretty nice, and those Misty Seeds that are going to pair well with Tapu Fini's Misty Surge, but this thing has a moveset of Heat Wave for coverage, Hurricane for Stab, Thunderbolt for Stab, and Roost to actually give us some more HP. Behind the face cam, we got the one and only Tapu Fini, one of the best Series 7 Pokemon in the game right now. Right now, Misty Surge, Extra Belt, and then normal moveset of Muddy Water, Moonblast, Taunt, and Ice Beam. Over on the right side is our Focus Sash Pokemon, and it's a Defiant Focus Sash, but sharp over here. And Defiant is going to roll out well, considering we got a bunch of new Intimidate Pokemon in this new Series 7. Well, not new. Well, Landers has uh, actually been used a lot, and then you also got Incineroar and Arcanine. So if they have any Intimidate Pokemon, we're going to try to get this boy in here, get that Defiant Boots, and roll from there. So he has a moveset of three. That moves and then protect. We got Iron Head, Assurance, and Sucker Punch for that first turn priority. Bottom left, we got our support mod with Amoongus Regenerator and a Yacha Berry. Normal moveset. I don't even have to go over it. It's the Rage Power, Sludge Bomb, and Spore. This thing absolutely rocks out and does some work. And then in the final spot is our Chewy Scarp Landers with that Intimidate. This thing is such a good Pokemon. You can swap them in, swap them out, do work, absolutely outspeed everybody with a Scarf and get that attack drop. This thing has Earth Power, EQ, Rock Slide, and U Turn. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, things that I noticed right off the rip is he's got the Sandstorm team with the T-Tar and extra. He's got the competitive Milotic, so Landers, gotta watch out for my Intimidate there. And he also has an Intimidate Pokemon as well, so maybe we can proc it with our Basharp. I think Basharp is going to be a nice little lead. Right off the rip, we can get rolling with that, so definitely get him in there. He also has a uh, Tokus and a uh, Claydoli, one of the fossil Pokemon that you never see on Rank Ladder, so this one's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully he brings it in and gets to show it off. Um, okay, so he has a T-Tar, he has the extra, who probably are going to come in. Finny's definitely going to have to roll in here. It's just such a beast of a Pokemon. I don't think we lead Finny, though. We definitely lead Basharp, so Basharp's in our lead. He might lead Incineroar, so that's why we led the Basharp. Uh, he might lead Milotic as well, trying to proc that. Uh, do I go into Zapdos? Do I lead Zapdos? I feel like he's either leading Tokus or Milotic. I'm going to lead Zapdos, and then we definitely bring Finny. Or do I lead Blaziken, or do I bring Blaziken in the back? What's the play? Blaziken just gets roughed up here, though. Same thing with Zapdos. That's what's a little tough. They're both like middle. They're like middle range here. I think maybe we don't bring Zapdos. Hmm, I really do want to lead Zapdos though. I really do like the Zapdos lead. I said we go Blaziken. Yeah, well, let's go with these four. I kind of want to bring Amoongus in here. I don't want to bring Landers. Dude, Landers could have been good. He could have been good, but he's definitely bringing competitive Milotic. Like, that's why I did not bring him, because he's got the X-Drill and the T-Tar. So if I could have got the physical attack drop on that, that could have been huge. We could have rolled out from there. We do also have Heat Wave on our Zapdos, so that could be actually be really, really nice, considering we can maybe get a burn, maybe get a burn. And if we get burned, yo, that's going to be rolling. going to be rolling, but who's going to lead? He's going to lead Incineroar Milo? Show it. T-Tar and Kledo. Does this thing learn Sandwich? That's a, that's a good question. That is a very good question right here. But I'm Steel over here, so my, uh... My what's called won't take any uh, Buffet damage. Jimmy Buffet damage. I uh, a sharp. Okay. Let's roll. Let's roll. Got that Iron Head, and I'm definitely just going to drop it on this thing. Because C-Tar could be weak as possible. I really don't want to do that. I could T-Bolt. At least go for something. Maybe go for a Paralyze. Or I could. I think I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave and try to get Burns. I really am just going to try to get Burns, even though we might go down in one shot. That's fine. Zapdos really wasn't the choice here. He's going to die next. He's going to die next. Yo, if we get a burn on this T-Tar, it's got to be T-Tar, right? Unless it's Cladle. Unless it's Cladle here. Is that, that, is that the Pokemon name? I believe so. It is. You are not. Oh, dude, please don't tell me this thing's weak as possible. Yo, please don't tell me this thing's weak as possible. And I, is this a sick one, Sand Rush? I don't know anything about this Pokemon, so we might just get dumped in battle number one. Let's see what happens here. I, I can believe it could be Sand Rush, but show me some burns. Show me some burns. Give them both. Both of them. Burn them up. No burns, yo. That's whack. That is whack. No burns? What you mean? Here goes T-Tar with a rock slide. E. That might just dump all my... Zapdos knows. Zapdos eats. That's actually phenomenal. Does not do much to my Basharp. And then a Max Quick is coming over here. Oh, my Basharp. Basharp's out here. Okay. Basharp, see you later, buddy. Oh, I was going to say, we might eat. No. Okay. That's fine. Basharp was kind of just there to kind of get a defiant. Um, I think I'm rolling a Blaze here. Am I rolling a Blaze here? Dynamax Blaze. Can I get rolling from there? 
Not bad, we got the stab fighting. And that Max Uncle can do some absolute work onto that, uh, that what's it called? Now I gotta watch out for that. I think we just died Max Finney. Change the weather up and roll from there. Because Blaze King can get dumped on by Max Quake. So I really don't want to do that. Yeah, let's go into Finney. Let's change up the weather and try to drop a heat wave here. Yeah, yo, top of Finney, you're getting that Dynamax. And you have that extra belt, which is absolutely wonderful. We get the boost from uh, super effective moves. This is going to be nice. Top of Finney, we get the Surge, too. We get the Surge. And the Seeds are going to pop. And the Seeds are going to pop. I totally forgot about the Seeds. I should have actually gotten Finney, maybe, in a lead. I think we should have led these, too. Then we get the uh, Special Defense boost. But I'm going to go for the Heat Wave again, and I'm going to try to drop this with Claydoly. Or no, where do I go for you? I think I'm going to go after Claydoly. Where do I get you? Go for a Starfall. Good Starfall. What typing is Claydol? What, 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 what typing is this Pokemon? Let me see. I go in the info. What's, what typing are you? He's Rock and Grass. Okay. I knew he was Rock. I knew he was Rock. I kind of just want to change with the weather. I feel like the weather change up can be good for us. And Zapdos should be able to outspeed. But I am going to go here and then I'm just going to drop another Heat Wave. I'm just going to roll in like that. I think that's the play. I could have roosted actually. I should have probably roosted. I should have roosted, man, because there's no way he's going to double up into me. He's going to go for a rock side. I could have roosted, survived another turn, and roll from there. Well, let's get it, Finny. Let's get it, baby. Hit that Dynamax button. We, we need this weather change up. And then we can have Blaziken in the back end, which I really, really like. Because he's fast. He hits hard. He also has that light board. Yeah, we can roll out pretty strong. Man. Dude, let's see who's going first. Heat wave. Show me some. Give me a burn on the T-Tar. Give me a burn on something. One of them. No burns. No burns. What you mean? Yo, we are not working with the burns today. Burns aren't helping. We had four chances to get burns with the double heat wave. Next guy's actually gonna pop here. This thing can learn storm drain? What you mean? This thing storm drain? That is insane. That is absurd. That is absurd. I'm like, what you mean? I should have known that. I should have known that, but that's pretty cool to show off. This thing can learn storm drain. We're just getting ran by this thing. I did not know that. I did not know that. Which is crazy. You guys are probably all sitting there like, yo, dude, this thing has Storm Drain. Gene's about to drop a geyser on it. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay. Looks like Starfall's gonna have to come through. Get after his T Tar. I think I just got a close combat drop this thing. Even though it's gonna drop our defense, we should be able to outspeed. And we should be able to drop him. Then I could get, uh, then I'll get the speed boost. And I could just start close combat dropping. Dude, that's whack. That is so whack. I don't know if we take out the T-Tar. He's going to swap T-Tar. We go into whom? The fairy, maybe? Milotic. Okay. That's rather smart. That's kind of scary, though. Close combat. Come on. Take that thing out. Thank you. Get that thing out of my face. I'm not dealing with it. And we do have Thunder Punch as well, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. We can do some work up on this thing. The Starfall's going to slide over here. We cannot change up the weather. Actually, we can next turn. I'm going to get the plus one on the speed board. And I think a Thunder Punch should be able to take out that Milotic. No problem. Unless it protects. I don't think we're sitting too, too bad here. Bop, doing a decent amount of damage. Decent amount. I think it might protect. Here's the buff, it's in us. E! A little scary. This one could actually be really, really close. Is he gonna go back and out, out in the T Tar? If he does, then I am going to drop a uh, a geyser. I would like to get the weather. Actually, I don't know if I would like to change the weather. Because then what's called won't do as much damage. Blaze can if I use a fire move. And now we gotta use a fire move. The blaze can should be faster. Hmm. I definitely geyser. I definitely get rid of this weather. I actually might protect this turn. He's gonna outspeed me. I'm gonna protect and get the speed boost because he's sand rushed, hands down. I'm gonna protect, change up the weather. I'll just geyser over on that thing. Let's see. Get that speed boost because that, again, I think sand rush is gonna be able to outspeed my boys. He can probably drop a rock slide, take me out, or go for an EQ. Iron. Oh no, you biscuit. You double up. No way you double up. No way you make that read. No way you make that read. Here comes the geyser. I think it was Lifer. Okay, so this, this thing pop, probably dead here. Probably dead here. If this if this Milotic goes after my uh my Blaze skin, we should be chilling fine here. We should be chilling fine if that's the case. Unless he takes out my Tapu Finn. I don't think any of these guys have first turn priority. Here comes a mud shot. Block. Okay. Yo, your boy Jeans is making a battle. We got a speed boost. He's gonna bring out T-Tar. If he brings out T-Tar, what is the play? I could drop it with a close combat, or I can go after this Milotic. What is the play? It changes the weather again. E. Okay. What is the play? Because they can both protect. 
And they're both posing me a threat right now. I know Milotic is the slowest. That's a fact. Hmm. I think I got a Moon Blast over here and I got a close combat drop this T-Tar. Right? Is that the play? I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Let's see what happens here. Close combat comes out. Okay, good play. Good play. T-Tar should be gone. He should be out for the count. Come on, baby. Come on, dude. My defense is trash. He might pick up the double kill in the buff. That's why winning the game. I don't like this at all. Moon Blast, give him the special attack drop. Please. Please, Moon Blast. Doom dirty. Give it to him. Give it to him. It has a berry. It has a berry. It has a berry. I'm pretty sure Muddy Water wasn't taking out that T-Tar. Mud shot. Oh, no. E, 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 e. E. No. No. I think we lost this one for sure. That berry, man. Oh, my lord. This was a good battle. This was a really good battle. If that thing wasn't Storm Drain, we probably would have won that game because we just needed an extra attack. But let me know in the comment section down below if I should have Thunder Punched that Milotic instead of dropped a close combat on that T-Tar. Let me know what the play was, or do you guys think I made the right play? Because I don't think a Muddy Water was taking out that, uh, that T-Tar at all. Get a crit, get a crit. Miss, miss. Recovery, you're such a chotch. You are such a chotch, man. Jabroni over here. What is this? What is this? Such a chotchy move, dude. Come on, man. You mean? I'm just gonna recover. Like, dude, come on. Face me one on one. Now we definitely lost. Hopefully he misses. And I get a crit and then I hit him with another moon blast. Just for him doing that move. Like, get him out of here. Get him out of here. You don't, like, come on, man. That's no fun. That's no fun. Give me a crit. Miss, 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 miss. E, 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 e. Ah. Stupid game. Stupid game, man. <laughs> oh, good. That battle is actually really, really good. I am glad I actually got that one on recording, but we can hop into our second battle. Try to get ourselves our first win. Second battle going up against a double horsey team over here. He's got Spectre and Glacier over here. So that, that's looking pretty deadly alongside with Heatran, Tapu Lele, Wimscott, and Urshifu. Uh, definitely got to bring out my boy Landers. I think we might actually lead Landers. Swap, do some work with him because a lot of physical attackers up here, especially with the Urshifu, the Glacier, and I think Spectre actually might be a uh, Special attack, but he turns definitely physical. I'm gonna lead Landers. Um, hmm, hmm. He actually might lead uh, Miscot. Then I could just go straight into an Iron Head. I think that's a play. I think that's a play. Or I could just go into Blaze again. Now I'd rather go into Bisharp here. I think we bring Finny and Blaze. Finny and Blaze, yeah. Because we can actually counteract a lot of the uh, the what's called the Surge. He has a Psychic Surge, which doesn't do too much except for somebody who's popping the seeds. Right? Yeah, that's pretty fair. Um, is that, is that is this who I want to go into? I think this is the team. I think this is the team. I think I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it a lot. Let's roll. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Need that first win. I like how the dude's name is just Lele. So he's using the top of Lele. <laughs> that's kind of cool. But oh, oh! We see a trainer card. Perfect match right here. Nothing happening to it. I love it. I love it. I do have to change my training. I always say it, but dude, I just don't see the point. Like, it's just wasting my time. I'd rather record like a video for battles, you know? <laughs> but it goes into Ghost Horse over here alongside with Wimscott. Because does this thing learn beat up? No, it has its uh, little ability. Hopefully this thing's physical attacking. That'd be pretty dope. But here comes my Intimidate drop. I think I just dropped a rock. But not a rock. A uh, rock slide. I might swap. I could actually swap. I really want to, but I think I just drop a rock slide. Do I just drop an EQ? No, EQ would just dump on my Bisharp. <laughs> I could protect drop an EQ, but I think I just drop a rock slide. Where do I swap? I, I might actually swap. Get the Finny in here. Get the Finsters up in there. Where do I really? No, we're just gonna we're gonna rock slide. We are going to rock slide right here. And that's play rock slide, and then just drop a. I do have insurance? I do have insurance. Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right after this thing. I kind of want. I kind of want to do big damage. This. I want to do big damage. This thing. He's gonna withdraw you. Yeah, yo, you better. I should have iron head. I should have iron head across. That would have been the play. And who you gonna drop into? Tapu Lele. So I can swap. Uh, I'm gonna swap my boy after his turn. And get the uh, the other surge rolling. Get my Finny out here. Keep Landers for the back end for another intimidate drop. 
But again, I'm not sure if that, that Ghost Horse is actually a, uh, if it's a physical attacker. You get a crit. You'd love to see it, baby. Oh, and a flinch. Insurance comes out. Uh, get a flinch on the, oh, take that thing out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Yeah. My boy coming out here. And we flinch that thing. Yo, Iron Head takes that thing out easily. Um, and then, do I swap? I think I swap, right? He's going to swap back into that horse. I know that for a fact. Bring that horse back out. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, he's going to bring Urshman. So, yeah. Let's definitely uh, get rid of this uh, Intimidate Mon. We're rolling the Finny. We're rolling the Finny here. I probably should have U-turned That could have been a play, but nah. I kind of like that play that we had right there. We're going to go into the Finny. And then, I think I just Iron Head and take out you right here. Because I do have my Sash. Sash roll. And he might die my Sash. He's... Wait, actually... Swapping turns come out first, so he might die next surgery. Let's see. Let's see what you're gonna do. Get Finny out here. Change the surge back to us. This is this is our surge. Even though that one didn't really do much for him, I then change it to the Misty surge. Get that out there. And I just want to land or swap. I feel like that was the player. And he goes for a tail one. Lovely little tail one. It's totally fine by me. Hopefully, I think it's a dark one. But then I can drop it with a nice little iron head. Wicked blow comes out here. Be going after. You gotta be going after a top of Finny slot, right? Yeah. Eats up all day. But let's say snacky. You get a crit. That's fine by me. And then I can drop an iron head here and say bye bye to the one sky. Get it out of my face, yo. But Sharp rolling strong here. He's rolling strong. That is a dark one. If I get off a moon blast, we should be thriving here. And I wonder who he's gonna bring out. Well, I already know who he's gonna bring out. He gotta bring out that's uh the ghost horse. Do I swap Finny now? That's the question. That's the real question. I actually don't swap Finny. I think I just pose a big threat on both sides with the insurance and they uh and this right here. Cause I still have my focus ash, and I can go into a sucker punch later. He's gonna dynamax by the horse right here, and then I can get my intimidate drop in here later. Moonblast will take out Urchfu, no problem. One shot, four times weakness. Hopefully we can pull that off. But he has speed. He has speed. Unless that that horse is, is really slow. I don't think it's that slow. I think he has decent speed, especially with a tail one that's doubled. This top of Finny is not the fastest itself. But Urchfu is not gonna take, take out top of Finny. Urchfu is not gonna take out uh, my Bisharp due to the sash. The only thing that's gonna go down probably here is going to be my uh, uh what's it called? My top of Finny, which is, which is eh, which is eh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. But I really do need Finny for this Urshfu, that could be huge. But I can't get the speed boost from a Blaze, it could be, protect. And I still have, who else do I have in the back end? I still have my Landers, which is huge, with that Choice Scar. Love it, love it. And people were telling me, and I did not know this, once you swap out, you can Scarf or Choice into a different move, which is amazing. It's amazing. Here comes the Quake, going into, going to, uh, Bashar. Yes! Yo, yes, let's go. Sash is popping here. There's no way that Urshfu is taking my Finny out, right? No way, unless he drops a close combat. But let's see what happens here. Special defense is boosting. I still think a Moonblast takes him out. See what happens here? See what happens? Wicked Blow coming out here. Again, he should be able to eat this up. You should be able to eat this up all day, Finny. Oh, we go after a Sharp. Yo, you're crazy. That's totally fine by me. You can go after my Bisharp. As long as my Finny gets off this Moonblast, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Moonblast should just be able to dump on this thing. Even though it's special defense boost it, should be able to take it out. Yeah. Out my face. Four times weakness. Big play from the Finny. I know I need the Finny. The shark picks up two KOs, does his job. That's really fine. Uh, I think we just roll on the Blaziken. Right? I don't think we need Landers here. I think we just roll on the Blaziken, Dynamax, and roll from there. Finish up this game. Mm-hmm. Your boy coming in strong battle number two. I love this Blaziken team right here. Like the last Blaziken team I used, like, I liked it. It was a lot of fun, but this one's just a lot stronger. Oh, uh, we'll go Starfall. We will go Starfall into a Flare Blitz. Go Flare Blitz. Nice little Flare. I, why didn't I Dynamax? I did that. Wait, why did I Dynamax Tapu Finny? What am If I lose this game, I'm a cry. I was supposed to have Dynamax Blaziken. What am I doing? Why am I Dynamax Tapu Finny, man? If I lose this game, I'll be so sad. I'll be so sad. There's a quake. Blade skin's gonna go down to that. I don't like this game whatsoever. Oh my lord. Missing special defense booster. Yee! Game, man. Dude, I'm gonna lose this game. I'm gonna lose this dang game. We would have been, been able to eat up that next week. I would have been able to get off like a flare or something. We're gonna lose this game! What am I doing? Just know, guys. 
I should have won this game. If I lose this game, I'm counting as a win, even though it's really not a win. But you guys know I just made the dumbest mistake on planet Earth possible. Ah, okay. Actually, I can find out if this thing is special, special or physical right now. So I know for later. It's special. Okay. I gotta set this way, I guess. Get a weather boost. EP for stab. Yep, yeah, gotta do it. Gotta get into it. What's called should be able to outspeed maybe Landers? No. Phantasm coming out here. Eat this up. Eat it up, Lando. Actually, Tailwind's over. Tailwind is over. This is real scary. This is real scary. Definitely real scary. <laughs> I'm terrified, man. It was my geyser. We just need to be able to eat up one shot from this thing. I don't know if it's happening. Oh my lord. What am I doing, guys? Dude, I, once I Dynamaxed Finny, I knew it was like, oh my lord. What is going on? Because my dude would have been able to eat up that shot all day, my blaze again. He's gonna protect. He's gonna protect. My blaze would have been able to eat up that shot all day long. If he was Dynamax and would have been able to get off a nice little shot. I knew it was special defense. We said we need a big physical attacker here. There's a muddy water KO. I know we outspeed. Oh, we should be able to outspeed. There's a muddy water KO. That's the real question. We need Muddy Water to KO. I'm gonna be so mad, dude. Come on, baby. Come on, jeans. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Finny. What you got, Finny? You outspeed me? That's nuts. That's game. Ah. I messed up. I messed up. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Just know, guys. Just know I should have got that win. Just know I should have got that win. And I just totally made a dummy move. That last battle wasn't even like me losing because of, of a mistake. It was just me getting distracted and hitting the wrong buttons. Like I even said to you guys, I was like, we're gonna bring out Blazekin, we're gonna Dynamax him, we're gonna do fine. And by accident, I hit the Dynamax on my uh, top of Finny and dropped the Starfall and went from there. But it's okay. I count them one as a win. I really do. But technically, we're 0-2. I'm gonna say we're 1-1. One one. But third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy is Storm Drain Gastron alongside with Duskhouse for Trick Room. Glaciary, he can actually proc that uh, weakness policy with that Glaciary, which is kind of scary. But I think I might lead Blaziken just to pose a big threat. He also has Fake Out. And I kind of want to lead that Landers. He has no Defiant, and that is actually huge. So I'm going to go Blaziken into Lando. And then I'm going to bring Finny and Zapdos? Finny and Zap? I kind of like that. kind of like that. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. I kind of like that a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get Zapdos up here. Let's roll into this third and final battle. All right. We are uh, one... Or we are one in it. Oh no, we're a half and one. That's a record. We're half win, I guess. <laughs> and we're a, we're a loss. And that first battle was really close. That was a good battle too. But yeah, definitely should have won that last one. Kind of mad about it. Not really. It's not a big deal to me. Too much. I just like playing the game. I don't really care too much about my record. We go Cinderace and the Klopsky Poo. And Klops, is this thing policy? Could be. Could be. Blazekin's gonna get that. And we do get the Intimidate drop, which I absolutely love. Which I absolutely love you. Uh, 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 he's gonna frisk me, dog. Getting real frisky with me. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Good protect. I really just want to get after this. I might, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get my attack boost. No way you're swapping. Or doing a what's it called. I'm gonna rock slide. But no way you're going uh, into a... Uh... Are you Dynamax? Oh no, I'm Dynamaxing. I, I was saying, there's no way you're going into an ally switch. I really don't see that coming. So I'm going to try to get this attack boost for my Blaze. And I'm going to try to wall out here. And an attack boost for my, uh, what's called as well. It's going to be really nice. My Landers. But I kind of want to swap him soon. I don't think we're going to, to Dynamax that Cinder. He's minus one. Let's see if he's going to do it. He's not. Rockside comes out. That's exactly what I wanted. This uh, Cinder should be able to go down here to just max knuckle. And hopefully we get a flinch on the Clops. And race is U-turn. Okay. I'm fine with that. Over on Lando slot? Yeah. That's totally fine. I swap Lando out next turn anyway. 
I think it's but yeah, I definitely swap Lando out next turn. I think it's Knuckle flying on what Pokemon is coming in here. I think it's going for a flare on the left side. And I hope we get that flinch. Gastron, I'm totally fine by that. I can get a knuckle knuckle hit on this thing. Get my attack boost. And I might keep him in here for the rock side. That's some nice damage. Yeah. I get a, that attack boost as well. That's which is huge. That's a nice spike. Show me, show me we flinch this clops. Show me we flinch this clops. Show it to me, baby. It's tricking rats. Okay. I just get tricking wall. But stay in. And this thing is going to have blood throwers. Hmm. How do I play this one? Here goes my speed boost. If we were boosted here. No tricking, we would have been thriving. Um. Definitely flare over on this side. It's stab rolling. And I have the rock side again, or I swap out. I think I swap here. I swap into the Finny, yeah. I swap into the Finny slot. Because you could see me garden. He might go into uh, a geyser or whatever move he wants to in the left side. But I think he's not going to die because I think he just has muddy waters or something along those lines. And I dropped this nice big flare over onto that left side and possibly take out the dust cups. But plus one and it's stab. And then we change up the weather, which is going to be huge. The swap Lando. Lando, get back here, boy. Save that intimidate. Get Finny back out here as well because Finny rocks out. Oh, boy, Finny. Let's get it, Finn. No, dude, I absolutely love uh, all the top moves, man. The Tapus are one of my favorite, like, Pokemon. Just all four of them all around. They're awesome. And she's going to Dynamax here. Here comes Dynamax here. And I do see us eating up a Geyser. He has to be Dynamax and Gastro, right? I should have took out Gastro. I should have 100% took out Gastro. He might actually go for the ally switch. We'll see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. But Gastro is going to get that Dynamax. Who else do I have? I have Lando and Zap. Mm. Mm. Let's see what happens here. Pain Split coming out here. Biscuit. Oh, you paint split him with Gastro. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fancy. Here comes the geyser. Go after my Lando slot. There's no way. You gotta be going after my place slot, right? Yeah, place can eat, please. Thank you. Thank you, Blaze the King. I could protect next turn. But he'll, he might actually see coming, so I might not even do a protect next turn. And I'm gonna change up this weather. We actually might be able to eat up a geyser in the heat, which I, I would really like. We might be able to eat up a geyser in this heat. I think I just taunt that, uh, that does cops, so it has to do attack moves to me. Here goes that left there. Mm, this one's gonna be close. This one's gonna be real close. We're having some really good battles, even if we lose this one. Like, still, even if we go 0-3, like, these are like, some good battles, and I really do like it. Uh, do I guard, or do I try to eat? Hey, I, I, I have to get after this gash on. I think we try to eat here. I think we try to eat. Let's see what he's gonna do. This cop's gonna pain split. Silly fine. Jeez, man. Jeez! You're getting some HP back, so no need to go after you. He's gonna go for a quake over onto Blaze. Yeah, eat Blaze. That was that was actually really smart. That was actually really smart. Do you know the heat's here? This one's tough one. This one's gonna be this one's real tough. Uh Zapdos come out? I think Zapdos gotta come out here. Let me save Lando for the back. Hey! Tough battle here. Tough, tough battle here. Thought we were doing good too, and then that trick room. Trick room's just so it's just such a tough thing to get in. Oh, we get that drop though, that's huge. That special attack job, I really do like that. This thing's left over just gonna keep giving him a little bit of HP, and this thing's so annoying. This little dust cops over here? Being a pain in my neck. Don't get out, Lando. We're gonna get out Zap this here. Um hmm. Hmm. Boy, Zap. Let's get it, baby. Here goes my seeds. We get a nice little special defense boost, which is huge. We can seize Pokemon. And then we, uh, do I go for the Hurricane? Do I go for the Heat Wave? I think I gotta get it for this Hurricane. Try, try to take out this Gastron. I really don't feel like dealing with it. I'm just gonna get it for it like that. Double up into it. See what he does. Let's see what my boy does. Trick Room has how many turns left? Two? Two or one? I think it's two. I think you have one more turn after this. I think he swapped into Gastro and then set the trick room. Or you turned that turn. Let's see what you got, fool. What you gonna do? That's why I feel like it's such an underrated Pokemon. Nice shade pops. Then he eats. And then here comes Quake going over on Finny slot. Finny's gonna go down here. E, you my Finny alone. I watch. We're gonna miss our Hurricane. Oh, Finny eats, yo. I love you, Finny. Thank you for that special defense uh, drop. Or the special attack drop. First defense is boosted. 
I mean, we have two physical attackers in the back. We got Moonblast coming out here. Can Hurricane KO? And hopefully it connects. Come on, please connect. Oh, we get another drop. Yo, you love it. That does. You suck, dude. You, you suck. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm not dealing with him. Are you kidding me, my dude? Don't miss your hurricane, your spicy little hurricane. Um. Vinny, do I protect Vinny? I'm going for a hurricane again. I need to take this thing out. Yeah, I don't have protect on this thing. If I can get off a taunt, that'd be nice, but I think we die anyway. So I'm just gonna go for his dust cops. Let's see, dust cops gotta go for nitrate, yeah. Actually, it takes me out. I don't see this match really being over. I'm not worried about the what's called at all. The Cinderace. Considering our landers outspeeds all day, I think it recovers, of course. Of course it does. Who would've guessed it? Who would've guessed it? And I could drop EQs all day. Oh, I really do like that. Zapdos! What are you doing? How you miss twice? How do you miss twice? Come on, man. Everybody else who uses, uh... Everyone else who uses Hurricane without rain hits him all the time. I swore I went up against somebody and he hit him three times. Hit me three times. But we're getting ran. We're getting ran. But I am having fun. And these battles are pretty good. These battles are pretty good. Little, little, little things going wrong. But that's about it. But go for it again. I think this is play. I think this is play. Come on, baby. Come on. Get some damage off on these things. There we go. That's what you like to see. Hurricane. I'm, I'm very confused. I am super confused here. I miss another hurricane? Did I really just miss another hurricane? That's three in a row? I'm not stopping until I hit this thing. I'm not stopping until I hit this thing. EQ takes out. He's going to recover. I'm doubling up in the gastro slot. Like, what you mean, man? I'm really, like, missing these? Like, what is it? 70%, right? Which, like, the math on that is pretty, pretty off. It's pretty off. If I'm missing this much. Not for you, because he's going to recover. I'm going to drop this EQ again. He's gonna recover. That's an obvious play. He pain splits. I can roost. I can roost whenever I feel like it. I don't want to hear it. I can roost whenever I feel like it. Which I might just roost next turn and drop an EQ. This thing's gonna recover. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Hurricane. Thank you. Thank you. Wanted that a while ago. Thank you for the ducks. Thank you. I can roost next turn now. An EQ. Thank you. Oh. This isn't gonna take out the gastro, but still gonna put it low. There goes the leftovers. We're going to roost next turn. Get some HP back because I gotta take this one slow. Roosting, baby. Now I'm going for another EQ. Hopefully, gastro hits him with ducks. That would be that would be huge for us. That would be big for us considering we missed three hurricanes in a row. Of course not. Gastro protects. That's totally fine by me too. I got a free roost here. I thought you were gonna run over. Will Lewis coming out. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. That is hands down game. That that is hands down game. My boy's not doing any damage. Whatsoever, yeah, dude, we're just gonna run this one. This one is over with. We are going to go 0-3. I'm gonna say 1-2 and 2 for this video. You guys already know the deal. That second battle was definitely ours to the taking. Uh, first battle was very, very close. We almost had that big comeback uh, with the, uh, what's it called? With the Blaziken. And then this third battle was just kind of, we missed attacks. Little things left and right. And Trick Room definitely won the game. Because we were thriving right off the rip. Then he sent a Trick Room and kind of took over the battle. Even though we didn't pick up any wins, I still think this team is very, very strong. I love the way its play style is. All of our battles were very, very close. Obviously, that second battle, I'm counting that as a win in my head, but so it's a loss on the board. But everything about this team really, really rocks out. You got the Landorus. The Blaziken's an absolute beast. The top of Finney's good as well. Zapdos rolls through with the Misty Seeds, but Sharp's really, really good. And then we got that support mod with that Amoongus. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.